Nah, we'll start a little bit early. A few seconds early doesn't hurt nobody. Hello, everybody. Then the camera needs to be moved a little bit. There we go. There we go, there we go, there we go. Hide that. Perfect. All right, we're back in it. Good morning. My microphone is on by the look of it. Paranoia. Early, now I have to be nice. It's true. Only late night Syrinx can, can be can be a rabble rouser. But also, first of all, congratulations, Syrinx, Ling, and Blue for first, second, and third, respectfully. And also, of course, hello, Syrinx, hello, Blue, hello, Ling, except for Ling went off to go eat. Which, you know what? Considering the time that I think it is for her at the moment, seems pretty reasonable. I swear. This, 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 something is wrong. There. It looked like my head was tilted like this the whole time. Just like, yeah, this is just how I sit. This is comfortable for me. I love this. Everybody else loved just tilting their head to one side. No. It's bad. Don't do that to yourselves. Good morning, though, everybody. I hope that everybody had a good day. had a good night last night. I'm sorry that you have to be here a second time. <laughs> Don't worry. It's only for... A little bit less than two hours. Should be doable. Well, thanks, Blue. Syrinx, exclamation mark, heart, me, hello, Will, dot, dot, hi. What did I do, Blue? Have I offended you in some way? What have I done wrong? And how do I fix it? <gasps> ah. <laughs> uh. Sorry, we're gonna be doing a lot of stretching. You know what you did. I don't. I mean, yesterday, somebody accused me of bullying them daily and I'm like, no, I haven't. And they're just like, you did it like an hour ago. And I'm like, checks time. And I'm like, okay, well, first of all, that was two hours ago. And second of all, I don't think there was any bullying. And they're just like, no, check again. And it just happened to be that like two hours ago and an hour ago were like the, how to say it, the second part of the time were the same. Oh, I need to reduce that volume by a little bit. So like, let's say, you know, instead like, 10 p.m. or like 10 11 p.m. but then it was at 11 11 p.m. so my brain just saw the second part and was like no it's just the same the same conversation it's happening at the same time and it's like i still don't think i'm bullying i think it might be friendly banter but they're just like no i was bullying and i'm like okay well i guess i'll have to reduce my uh my cruelties to some extent also, I realize I also have 300 followers. God damn it, I have to do something with that at some point. Well, that's what they said, Syrinx, but can they be trusted, though? <laughs> can they be trusted? You know, that's when you gotta start doing the gaslighting thing. It's just like, can they be trusted? I mean, they're accusing me of bullying. Clearly, they're not thinking straight. <laughs> But please, you don't even know what gaslighting is. It's true. I don't... How to say it? I'm very bad at spotting gaslighting, and I'm very... I would probably be worse at actively gaslighting. Because it, 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 it seems like it's something that needs to be done in a very particular way. So it feels very like... Oh no, you gotta gaslight them. It's like... How do you do that? And it's like, oh, well, every time that they accuse you of something, like, question their sanity. And it's like, that doesn't sound very nice. And it's like, well, yeah, it's not supposed to be nice. It's like, well, I don't want to be mean. And it's like, well, this is how you gaslight. I'm like, gaslighting sounds awful.
I didn't know the definition of gaslighting until Wilt. <laughs> I can't gaslight. I have an electric stove. I mean, you could use the electric stove's heat with like a propane tank to start gaslighting. You know what I mean? It's very dangerous, but you could do it. Please do not do that. That is a sounds like a very, very dangerous thing. Uh. So, we have a little less than two hours to get this done and hand it in. My hope, for legal reasons, don't. <laughs> we have two hours to hand this in. So, I'm going to put the border around it first. Ah! Oh, Moon, don't do that. You'd think I would notice, like, a moon showing up, you know? Like... The large sphere in the sky slowly approaching, but no. I had a, that's no moon. That's a space station moment where it's like, I've been caught off guard. On a side note, not that I know much about celestial bodies, but um, wouldn't the Death Star coming into orbit... Of, some, of a planet actually do a lot of damage on its own. Just simply due to how it would affect, like, the tides and, like, certain other atmospherical things. But also, yes, hello, Moon. I'm sorry. My brain's a little wandery. As is pretty common. I'm also yawning a lot for some reason. <laughs> I think we're gonna keep with the general flow of this and yeah moon what are you doing you coming in here you giving us all heart attacks also if we um if we get this done prior to <gasps> it's 4b how's it going my dude uh, if we get this done prior to the two hours done, we'll still wait to raid into Kaju. So we'll just change the title of the stream to like, I don't know, like, Kaju Maju waiting stream or something, waiting room. Doing all right, how are you? I'm doing all right. Got a little bit of a sniffle going on, but it'll pass with time. Sorry, you guys look too cute scared. That is very concerning, Moon. That is a very concerning statement that you just made. <laughs> That's got that, like, you're just so cute when you're afraid energy. And it's just like... Oh! No, I'm a manly man. See, Cyrix gets it. Oh, pardon all the yawns. I'm, I can't seem to stifle them at the moment. That's like when people say you look so cute when you cry. Oh, God. And it's just like, oh, is that why I'm crying? Like, just trying to, you just, you're just here to cause me tears for your own amusement, you sick fuck. You monster. You cruel excuse for a human being. This is how I feel. This is this is this is coming from the heart. I usually tell Tell women that they're cute when they're angry. No for B Don't do it. That's rage inducing. I would, I would smack you. I'd be like, no. Bam! Just a punch to the, punch to the shoulder. And you'd be just like, lol. And I'd just be more mad than I was before. <laughs> yeah, boom. Nailed it. Sorry, 
I gotta keep stretching. Today is a day that my body just wants to slouch, and I really have to force myself not to slouch. Which can be a tad bit difficult sometimes, but there you go. We'll lower our, cell, our chair a little bit so that we're a little bit more straight-lined with the, with the monitors. That should help a little bit. Gonna look for now, no problem at all, Searings. Have yourself a great lurk and enjoy your day. Let's see if we can get this this shenanigans done prior to Kaju Stream. How was everybody's night? I hope that you guys had yourselves a good evening. Oh, Moon, do you have uh, Monday off? This is not so much uh, I have plans and I need to ask you. This is literally just a, hey, I remember that you guys have that, so you should. No, 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 no. There's no should. There you do or you don't, and I do not accept anything else. You make the statement right here and now. I do. There you go. And if they say otherwise, you say, no. No, I don't think I do. And if they say any shit... Through the phone. Just through the phone. Just reach through and give him one good smack. That'll get the lesson across. That'll get the idea through to them. <laughs> oh, also, I'm so sorry for yesterday. That was the other thing. That's right. Unimportant to say on stream, but still feel like I really should, should say. There we go. Listen, I too learned. Dang it, Cobalt, I knew this would happen. This is not okay! This is not okay! How goes our- I have just started, but also hello everybody. This is not okay. No, it's not. I'm supposed to raid you. That's how this works. But also, thank you so much for the raid, Cobalt, and welcome everybody. For those who don't know, my name is Will Sleeps Not. You may call me Will, you may call me Sleeps, you may call me Will Sleeps Not. I'm an insomniac, ADHD, dyslexic VTuber who plays a variety of games, and on Saturdays, and in this case, Sundays, I do art. If that sounds appealing to you, then by all means, sit back, relax, get cozy, get yourself a cup of tea if you can. It's Sunday after all. Treat yourself. And if not, thank you so much for stopping by. I hope that you have a great rest of your day. How was Baldur's Gate? Tree. I had to do the shout out myself because Bells is probably not even awake yet. <laughs> I miss my mod. She doesn't miss me though. We're fighting, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> Pretty good, a lot of wandering around without much idea of what I'm doing, but fun. But, as long as you had fun. At the end of the day, that's what those kind of games are, right? They're very good for that. And also, thank you for the stretch. And I was about to say, and I presume also thank you for the hydrate. Give me uno secondo. I'm just trying to figure out my spacing right now. I think that covers everything. Perfect. But yes, thank you for the stretch, thank you for the hydrate, and thank you for the raid. 
like I said, I hope that it was a good one. Also, I hope that uh, September or stream timber is treating you well so far. I know we're only on day three, but sometimes you get a good gauge early on. 10% completion. Oh my god. I didn't even think about that. Holy shit. We're at 10%, baby! Can't complain too much. Implying that you can complain. But only to some extent. We was like, yeah, it's fine. You know, can't really complain. It's doing it again, chat. Neato, neato, 10%. Yeah, exactly, Moon. I'm sad. I don't have as much energy as I have yester had yesterday. But I think it's because I woke up at roughly the same time as I did yesterday. But I haven't had the the time to just like calibrate and wake up and focus yet so it's like okay i'm learning some techniques that i'm gonna need to keep keep up during the during this little event i need to give myself time to wake up But also, I'm running on less sleep than yesterday, so that also has something to do with it. And it's interesting. I don't know if anybody else experiences this, but you know, I'll toss it out there. See what see what you guys see what you guys are feeling, what you're what you're thinking, how you guys deal with stuff like this. But I know for me that when I don't sleep very well for a day or two. My uh, habits start to form around that not sleeping attitude. Like, if I don't sleep well for like two nights, like the next night I'll just like be, how to say, you know, there'll be more of just like, a, well, I should go to bed. Eh, I'll go to bed in an hour. You know, like, that kind of attitude, that kind of thought process starts coming in a lot more. It rears its ugly head. And, like, you need to do, like, conscious effort to be like, no, no. No. Bad. <laughs> no. Same. There you go. I mean, not that I'm happy that that's happening to you, Moon, of course, but... <laughs> Kind of just struck my mind here for a second, and I'm just like, yeah, honestly. No, not circle. I'm not looking for circle. I'm looking for that one. Need to get rid of the grid. Yeah, it's weird. The self-destructive... Uh, mental or self-destructive like uh, responses come so easily when you haven't slept properly. Don't go there. Not like one really. Oh, that's way too big. Gets out of tune, and then I gotta reset it. Yeah, exactly. 
but then you'll get like one day of good sleep and then you'll wake up super gross and it's like oh god oh this is the reset oh this is why i don't reset because it sucks oh it sucks so bad and then you gotta like drag yourself to bed again like the next night to get the same amount of sleep and then after like three or four days of that all of a sudden you're like Oh god, okay, this is... Alright, we reached the functional levels. Alright, we're making progress. Now I just need to do this for like three or four more nights and then I'm finally... back to where I need to be. And then something will happen and it'll fuck everything up and then you'll just get mad and... <sighs> Life's so hard. Life is so difficult. We live the hardest lives, you and I. And by you, I just mean chat in general. <laughs> Remember the days we were unfrazzled by bad sleep schedules. I mean, I'd still get frazzled, but they'd be, they'd be a lot more tolerable. Yeah, youth, like cobalt. Cobalt's just like two hours of sleep. <laughs> more like, <sighs> and then his brain stops working because even, uh, in, uh, even being young, two hours is nothing. <laughs> I don't know why I'm still picking on Cobalt. I'm sorry, Cobalt. <laughs> Pop of. Pop of. Oh. Brain. No, we got this. Okay, there we go. I remember the thing I wanted to do again. There we go. Random itch. Ooh, don't scratch that with the pen. That hurts. <laughs> I'm sorry, everyone. I am less entertaining today than I was yesterday. And you know what? I accept that. We're going to have off days during these 30 days. And that's okay. Eh. I am already, like... I've mentally already prepped myself to be like, okay, well, your Tuesdays, Thursdays, and fr and Saturdays, those are the stream streams. You know, like, those are the streams where you need to still, you need to bring your A game, you need to make sure that you're sleeping well, that you're, that you're, like, well fed prior to, that you're bringing in, like, extra topics that you, if you want to talk to people, really engage, and it's like, okay, any other day than those three days, if you show up, if you interact with people, if you do what you said you were going to do, we accept that that's good enough. <laughs> like, if, because I know that if I don't bring that mindset to the table, I'm going to have, by like day 15, I'm going to have a bad time. I'm going to be like, man, fuck streaming. This was the day that I learned that I didn't want to stream anymore. <laughs> I suspect that won't happen regardless because I like streaming, but... Why tempt fate, you know? Sounds like a dangerous thing to do with very minimal uh, gains to it. That wasn't the correct button. Whoopsie doodles. Okay, so that's that. So that's gotta be, this is Benjamin Post? And the pen, okay. Oh, the pen and the tablet. Okay, well, the tablet is easy enough. And the pen. Where? Who? 
Yeah, you can tell it's hot because the the apartment is like noisier. Not the apartment as in like the complex or the people in it, just like, you know, the walls occasionally having a little creaky noise or a little shift because of just the expanding and contracting that is buildings when it comes to hot and cold. It's not like it's even an issue. It's more just like, hmm, what was that? Oh, right, yes. It's not the terrifying axe murderer in my in my apartment who's just waiting for me to let my guard down for a second in order to pounce and strike me down with the might of a thousand suns. No, no. It's the creaking of a, of a building that is being warmed and cooled over and over and over again. For now, at least. Until the axe man becomes brave enough to do his duties. I have an understanding with my axe murderer. <laughs> Look, man, you can stay in the closet. You can stay there for free. You can use the bathroom. You can even have a snack at midnight if you just promise not to kill me. All right, we cool? Nice. <laughs> You can see kind of like a little bit of like a like a look from him because like he knows it's a really good offer but also he's an axe murderer and you're basically telling him not to do axe murder. But he's just like, I mean in this economy you kind of just gotta take everything. You gotta take everything that you can. No, too much. There we go. Axe murdering doesn't pay that well. Axe murdering ain't what it used to. Ever since they got rid of the beheadings, axe murderers just ain't, just ain't in a profitable business venture anymore. You know? Jacob's fallen on hard times. He's just, look, at this point, he's just looking for ends meet. Ever since the unions took over. <laughs> once, once the unions took over, anybody who was resistant to unionizing, they just, they just, they didn't have a place in this world. And they kept telling, they kept telling, what the heck did I call this guy again? We'll call him Jonathan, because I can't remember what I called him. They kept telling Jonathan, think of the benefits just think of the benefits to unionization. It'll be standardized pay. And Jonathan, being the anti-unionist that he was, was just like, nah, I don't swing that way. And now he's on the street, looking at his previous co-workers with envy. And being bitter about it. But he knows he can't axe murder. Cause it'll just cause problems for his fo for his fellow boys. He doesn't know what to do. So he stays in your closet while he ponders his next move in life. He's having difficulties, but he's trying. Dental, but at what cost? <laughs> I love the idea that it's like a good union, you know, like it's 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 clearly how to say it. It's very pro worker. It's very much designed to make sure that the pay is good. That like you know how to say it. That the benefits are good. But for some reason, Jonathan is just like, nah, man. I've heard stories about unions, and everyone's just like. What you heard was wrong. Please don't throw this opportunity away. And he just puts down his his axe murdering axe or his axe murderer's axe and throws it down. He's just like, I quit. I'm not going to be like you guys. I'm not going to conform. And like 
his axe murderer, like, love interest, not girlfriend. Like, there's just been a lot of, like, sexual and, like, romantic tension between the two. She, like, just has a moment where, like, a single tear rolls down her cheek as he's walking away. And she just, like, rolls into another person's arms and just, like, cries into their shoulder. And it's just like, it's okay. It's okay. He'll come around. He'll come back. <laughs> You really fleshed out this character. I like fleshing out characters for me. I don't know why. I like randomly taking a character and being like, all right, who is this character? Which is funny because he's all about removing flesh. He's very, he's a very hands-on individual. He's a hands-on, head-off kind of guy, you know? I'm being bold and assuming that uh, that all axe murderers aim for the neck. But you know what? I, for the sake of the little joke there, I'm, I'm going to stick to it. Sorry, I have four mugs on my freaking desk right now because I have my water cup, I have my tea mug, and then I just had a random glass of lemonade earlier because I wanted it really bad. So now there's three cups in a row, but the problem is, is that my desk is not super big. So there's like basically no way to carefully put down the mug without tapping against the other mugs because I have a little zone for where the cups are supposed to go. It has just a, like a little cloth down just because I don't, just in case the cups get very, um, uh, get covered in condensation that they don't drip onto the mat or onto the desk itself because this wood loves to absorb water for some reason. But now, so if you just, if you hear a random ping, if you hear of any sort, that's the reason. Now you know, this is my story. Listen to my story. This may be the only chance to tell it. It's doing it again. Ma! It's going outside the lines again. Sorry, I have, th there's this weird, I love trying to come up with jokes on the fly. Like it's very fun, but there's always that awkward moment where you have a joke, but you can't fully formulate it. And by the time you're kind of like halfway through, kind of like, okay, this would be the setup. And this would be like the little, you know, like this would be the, 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 the distraction, the subversion, etc. But you know, then you hit, then have a good lurk, Blue. Thank you so much for, st for stopping by. And then you hit that, you know, you start formulating the punchline. And then at that point, you're like, it has been far too long. Like, this joke is not going to land. Okay, I need to commit that freaking cheesecake emote to memory. Because every now and then when I look over... You know what? No, we're not going to share that idea. We're going to keep going. Never mind. Continue about your days, citizen. No, nothing further to see here. My curiosity is killing me. It's not worth sharing, Moon, I assure you. It's dumb and stupid and dumb. Hey, 
Hey, Bells, how's it going? And oh my, oh my, in what respect? What have I done this time, Bells? Wait, is that the whole situation? There it is. There it is, we found it. You see it too, you guys see boo. It does kind of look like the heart is just that, how to say it, that like, you know, like put the hands on your stomach and squeeze your shoulders together. You know, that the arms make the, the heart shape and then the actual like this shape. It's just the pushed up booba. I acknowledge it. I know what I see. I'm not saying it's the correct thing to see, but it's what I see. Am I embarrassed? Yes. Am I ashamed? Potentially. <laughs> da booba. Ah, yes, booba. <laughs> All right. Everyone in chat right now, do you see what I'm talking about in terms of that, that emote? Everywhere I look, I see the booba. <laughs> this is when Cheesecake comes in here and it's like, oh, my emote. Yes, that one specifically. Oh, I see what you're doing, Moon Booba, question mark. This one Cheesecake comes in and it's just like, don't talk about my emotes that way. And I'll be like... I am so sorry, Cheesecake. Please forgive me. It's the reflection of the heart. It is. It is very much the fact that there's that, that, that light reflection on the, I guess, her left side, our right side. That's the part that messes with my brain, specifically. Where there's just kind of like a... I know somebody, this is a, how to say, you know, a friend of a friend kind of a story. So, like, take this tale with a grain of salt. There was a friend of mine who had a friend, uh, I think, I don't remember what it was, I think it was during college. And they were walking down a hallway, and this, uh, and this woman was walking in the opposite direction of them. And she was wearing a shirt with a bunch of text on it. And he just like kind of paused and like kind of like narrowly, you know, narrowed his eyes to try and like read as much of the shirt as he could. But all the text was over her chest. So she pauses and just like really like angrily looks at him. But she's just like, you know, to, in a very like, I've got... I've got that, you know, I've got you dead to rights and I'm going to shame you for it. So she yelled, stop looking at my chest. And he immediately responds with, stop putting literature on it. And I just, like, my brain immediately, like, wants to, like, take out a microphone and just, like, point it at him and then immediately point at her and be just, like, counterpoint. <laughs> any, uh, any things that you would wish to add? And I would think any sense sensible person would be like, okay, you know what? Fair response. <laughs> I see what you're saying. but it still makes me chuckle. <sighs> Excuse me. Now, what color is a windowsill? I guess it depends on what color you want it to be. Maybe like a soft brown to kind of go with the Benji vibes. 
Maybe we'll go for like a softer... Hmm. Maybe more of a peach wood. Peach wood doesn't seem that bad, does it? A valid argument was made. Is that would you respond in kind, Bells, if you were wearing a shirt with a lot of words on it and you saw somebody just kind of like clearly is trying to kind of like read your shirt and that transaction happened, would you be like, all right, you know what, fair. <laughs> mayhaps, this has, mayhaps this is a multi-person problem. I wouldn't be mad. I understand they're reading it. Fair enough. I think I just love the fact, too, that it was, like, clearly... How to say it? Like, from what I understand from my friend, the person in question is not somebody to just, like, randomly stare at someone's chest. Like, they are very much somebody who's just, like... Kind of like me, you know? Like, you, you ca suddenly something catches your attention and you kind of need to read it. <laughs> It's like, oh, wait, what does that say? Hold on. That caught my attention. You know, like, maybe there's, like, a a symbol or something below it, and you're just like, oh, wait, I recognize that symbol, or I kind of recognize that symbol. Maybe the words will teach me what I need to know. And then, you know, then you're just blatantly staring at somebody's chest, and it's like, okay, look. <laughs> Hold on now. Before you start screaming bloody murder, hear me out for a second. <laughs> I'm just trying to read. Would you deny a man his ability to read? Much like how the Union took away the sweat of Jonathan's brow, at least from his perspective. <laughs> Wait, also, yeah. Also, yes, as in you would deny somebody the ability to read? Would you be like, no, if I can't read? You can't read. All those with the capability to read must not read the things that are on my shirt. For I, Bells, cannot read what is on my shirt. And therefore, nobody can. Bell's just walking around with like the communist manifesto on her shirt and just doesn't realize it. There's just people that are just like glancing at her shirt and just calling her comrade. And she's just yelling at them, just like, stop looking at my shirt. <laughs> and everyone's confused. <laughs> it's like, I don't, what do I, I don't know how, how do you approach this? And someone just puts an arm on their shoulder and it's like, you don't. You don't approach it. That's Bells. <laughs> don't approach me. Oh, God. Now Bells has the don't tread on me shirt on, but it's the don't read my shirt. <laughs> And it's still the snake, but the snake has a little book with sunglasses on. <laughs> I'm sorry that whatever this is, is happening right now, Bells. You have a don't tread on me Lego block? Just hidden amongst all the other Lego blocks? <laughs> no one knows where it is. But when they find it, they know they've crossed a line. I'm also just realizing the mild irony of... Or the mild, uh, not irony. Irony is not the correct word. But the mild loveliness that is listening to lo-fi-esque music while 
drawing a lo-fi scene. Oh my god, I just realized. Let's be real, boys and girls. Benjamin and Will are wearing the same headphones, or the same brand of headphone. It is thematically on point. I read theoretically on point, and I was like, Bells, I really am going to need you to explain what that means. But I realized that I was in the wrong, and I'm sorry. I have to be extra nice. I have to be really careful with what I say to Bells today. Because I get yelled at otherwise. And I realize that just even making that statement is probably a form of bullying. So, once again, I'm sorry. To quote Everybody Loves Raymond, which nobody should... Or I guess to take a page from Everybody Loves Raymond, which nobody should. I hate that show. I don't know why I watched so much of it. I did not like it. Um, there's a scene where... I don't remember all the stuff. I think it's finally Ray has like stood up to his parents. This is probably in like some of the earlier seasons. And... Oh, that's it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's he's done some things and they've made it that Robert has become the favorite child. Unexpectedly, because he's not been doing what his family has been wanting him to do, or specifically his parents have been wanting to do. And there's a scene where he goes to their place and he goes, All right, everybody listen up because this is important. I'm... Sorry, and the parents are both like, oh my god, he's, he's he's changed, he's done it, our boys come home, you know, the prodigal son has returned. And then his mother's just like, you've given us everything that a parent could ask, and Ray goes, yes, yes, constant apology. And that's my relationship with Bells. All that Bells asks for is for me to constantly apologize. <laughs> Not true. I know it's not true, but it's a great, it's a great little th situation for this particular moment. You apologize for no reason. I apologize for lots of reasons, just reasons that don't make sense to anybody. Probably not even me. Hey, Bells. <laughs> I'm sorry. Good. See? This is actually what you wanted. There we go. To quote uh, Final Fantasy X, I believe. It seems we are getting closer to the heart of the matter. Which I think I quoted yesterday as well. I have only, I am a record player that only has like maybe 50 songs on it. <laughs> Eventually you've heard them all and then you start screaming, get some new material. Much like you would to a comedian who has been making the same joke for 20 years. And they respond with, I have nothing else. This is all I have. This is all I am. To quote Final Fantasy X. Ha 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 ha! Now, for B, that scene might be cringe, but it's a good moment. It's a good character building moment, and I stick to my guns on that. Hmm. 
It's a moment that truly shows a mixture of the frustration and the connectivity between those two particular characters. Specifically Titus having, you know, kind of letting out his laughter or letting out his stress through aggressive laughter. Because he is stressed. He's far from home. He's This whole story is literally, you know, like the fish out of water. Suffer in silence. Trying to, you know, find a way back. I need to steal my own colors for a second. And that moment captures it well, in my opinion. The power move to laugh when very stressed. Bells, have you played... Uh... Oh god, I was putting it on the wrong layer. Oh, did I do that on the wrong layer too? Wait. Oh, thank god. Okay, okay, okay. Everything's still fine. Whew! Did you play Final Fantasy X specifically is what I meant to say. Because the scene in question is a very strange scene. And out of context, it's even more confusing. To summarize it for a second, without like spoil spoiling the game. Like, this is pretty early on in the game. The character Titus is far from home. The game literally starts with him being pulled from his familiar soils into a new world that he doesn't understand. And that is confusing to him, but has weird similarities to it. And you learn very early that you're from, like, the past, or that Titus is from the past and he's in the future. Speak of the devil, Cheesecake herself, how's it going? Hello, Cheesecake, how are you? <laughs> we were just talking about you. Oh, no, nothing negative. No, 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 nothing negative at all. Don't worry. You just happened to come up in conversation a little bit earlier, and it was like, what? I promise, chat, please, like, Please confirm that Cheesecake was brought up, like, what, like, 15 minutes ago? He meant our beloved Cheesecake. Is that what I meant? <laughs> you know what? Fine. I'm not allowed to say no to Bells at the moment because, uh, I'm in a perpetual state of apology, so. Yes, go with it, Will. Done. I'm going with it. <laughs> Stick to the script. Ah, damn it. You're right. I got to stick to the script. See, this is where Avatar and I differ. He's just like, what script? And I'm just like, oh, right. The script. Oh, dang it. Hold on. Let me just, let me just, hold on. Oh, wait. Here it is. Hold on. Wait. Tell me that that got picked up by the microphone. Hold on. Let me check again. There we go. Oh, is this lo-fi will? Yeah! It, now, mind you, Cheesecake, it is traced because I am not very good at art. And because it's not, how to say it, it's not money invested or anything like that. I'm like, okay, I don't mind too much about tracing because I learned a lot from this, from actually the tracing thing. Like, cloth, like, was all of a sudden like, oh, oh, I really need to consider this more. Like, I learned a lot, oddly a lot from this particular little scene, and I hope that I can retain it. But also, how are you? How's your weekend going? Are you streaming tonight? Are you going to have a good time streaming tonight? Are we getting more Elden Ring? You know, the only topic that streamers can talk to each other about, just like, you streaming? I stream. Did you stream? You're streaming? That's pretty cool, streaming. Like the uh, the two guys from 
night in the woods that all that they have to talk about is the is that they both like sports that they both like the smelters hey tk how's it going my dude imagine streaming i'm living streaming look at me i'm doing it right now bells for better or for worse Look at you go. Exactly. Now I can't remember what the heck I was talking about. <laughs> Cheesecake came in and it, it, it became a whirlwind of celebrity. And I'm like, oh no, I've been starstruck. And now I don't remember what, to, what the topic was anymore that we were talking about. Obviously, only for professional paid work. Uh, I disagree with tracing. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Uh, but you're correct, I believe, for pleasure in learning something times tracing. I'm not a sort of lab, you hush. Excuse me, Cheesecake. I'm pretty sure at this point, you're at like 60 to 70 viewer average at this point. That is That is celebrity status. I'm pretty sure. How to say it? I know for a fact that I am in like the top 10% of streamers just simply due to the fact that I get like like 12 plus uh consistent viewers you get 60 you're in like the top 1% I'm pretty sure <laughs> that's celebrity status <laughs> I will talk you up all I want and you can't stop me Oh, and you also have a collab. I missed the collab message. Ah! I'm the worst fan. <laughs> I didn't even know. <laughs> but have a great time with the collab then. That sounds exciting. What you guys playing? No, you're breathtaking. No, you're breathtaking. You're all breathtaking. Please, let me get through this, I think is so along the lines of what he says. Also, Bells, what the heck was I talking about? Help. I know I was technically talking semi-directly at you, and I cannot remember for the life of me what I was talking about. Um... Heck. I don't remember. I was specifically explaining something and now it's gone. I keep calling it garlic phone. Fuck you, dude. Every time. Everyone show. Every time I see that word, I'm like, oh, garlic phone? And then I. And everyone just looks at me and I'm like, I don't know what I did wrong. Oh my goodness. Bells, fight me. And are you both going to be streaming, by the way? Or is it just them and you're just going to be on their channel? right i'm asking the, i'm asking the tough questions the stuff that fascinates me because i know those talks always have to happen during a collab we're just like hey are we both streaming is one of us streaming nah just them when i do collabs i usually like to give them the limelight that's a very good way of approaching it i think it's also a really good way how to say it? It helps condense the audience a little bit. You know, like everybody's in one spot. Plus, the person who isn't streaming can be like the co-pilot for the stream. You know, like if the one streamer's missing messages, they can pick up the slack by keeping an eye on chat and like making commentary. I know that's what Hi and I do. Like Hi is good at catching stuff in the chat and just being like, oh, by the way, so-and-so says. And they're just like, oh shit, right, I have a chat. <laughs> 
Uh, Cheesecake, if you want to drop the person that you're collabing with's channel in the chat, you are more than welcome to. That way everybody can come check it out just in case. Just in case they don't know. I don't know. I'm sure you will draw the most delicious garlic cheesecake. <laughs> Bells, when did you get so funny? When did you become so hilarious? Okay, so we need to do this. I've always been funny. Oh, I see. The person is Sleepy Planet. She's celebrating a new model. Oh, that's awesome! Hold on. I'm gonna grab that at really quickly and put it in my browser so that I don't forget. Bam. Dunskies. All right, I will try to be there. No promises, but I'm going to try. Ah, don't want to do more of the, more of the lines. No. Sleepies will meet. Oh no. The sleepless one will meet the sleep of the sleepy planets and the worlds will collide. And then I will be my normal, awkward, not good at talking to people self. And I'll be just like, ha ha, hi. <laughs> because talking to people is hard. I think I was talking about that. No, I was talking about this off stream. But like... If I'm streaming and a new person comes in, I can start a conversation because they will engage if they want to. Like, I won't even know that they're there unless they message, and at that point, I can interact with them. But if it's me in the chat and I'm talking to a streamer, I have no idea how to break that barrier or if I even am supposed to break that barrier or where my mindset should be. I just go into analysis paralysis where it's like, well, I should make a good first impression, but like, I'm also just here to relax. And also, it's a, what, what if they don't want to talk to me? And what if they're busy? There's other people talking right now. I don't want to interrupt and... And then at that point, it's just like, I've been sitting here for 20 minutes overthinking this. I'm just not going to write anything. And also, thank you for the shout out, by the way, Bells. Like, I don't even know how I talk to Cheesecake half the time. I'm just like, hello. <laughs> I just say hi in chat and then... Cheesecake says hello, and then Geekbot says hello, and then sometimes if Wireframe VT is in the chat, they say hello, and then I say hello to all of them, and then I'm immediately just like... Oh, hold on, no, I, I can do this. And then immediately afterwards, I'm just like... I hope everybody has a good stream. And then I hide. Because I have immense social anxiety. <laughs> and also, Cobalt, thank you so much for the stretch and the hydrate. It's very appreciated. That's the stretching alone is constantly reminding me just like, hey, you're bowing your shoulders again. You're leaning forward. Sit back. Come on now. Cobalt is going to single-handedly tear me out of my bad posture, and I appreciate that. All right, we're stretching for the skies. And then we reach for the right. And then we reach for the left. And then we lean back. 
Shake our wrists out. Uh, Cheesecake, by the way, I don't know if you saw the video that I tossed you, but that's Cobalt. He's my, he's my September rival. And by rival, I mean we're both just doing a lot of streaming over this month. And because of that, naturally, the best thing to do is to have a rivalry for, I don't know, the drama. <laughs> Oh god, hiccups now. No. I don't want hiccups. No! Cobalt, you did this, didn't you? <laughs> Cobalt comes in, is just helpful and nice. Immediately get hiccups. This is Cobalt's fault. And yeah, what Bell said. I hope that you're doing well, Cobalt. I hope that you're taking the time to actually sit back and relax and, you know, take care of yourself doing all right today thanks hell yeah my dude i'm glad to hear it all right i need to have a dumb moment here for a second where i've forgotten what my freaking model looks like okay there we go the blue is at the top and the white is at the bottom there will be a time for that when I'm dead. Oh my goodness. He's doing it again. Bells. Thank you. Remind him of his oath. Yeah. Dead. Of courting to cook about dropping lurk tato. Everyone, thank you so much for the bits and have yourself a good cooking session. Also, dead. Just died. Everybody just watched me die. Concussions. A hundred of them. A hundred separate concussions. My god, could you imagine? Every single hit was a different concussion. I don't think you'd be able to see by like the 20th. I don't think you'd be able to feel by, like, the 30th. And you'd probably not exist anymore by the 40th. <laughs> but thank you very much for the bits, everyone. I hope that you have a good cooking session. Thank you. I'm not good at expressing emotions. Thank you. gonna fight me just a little bit there that's a-okay I'm in the video did you not put uh, did you put try to stop bridge collapse I did <laughs> I was trying to put something funny or nice on underneath of everybody's message, so yours is try to stop the bridge collapse. <laughs> yeah, that was the video I sent last night, because I had I had that moment after I posted the video, uh, and like I I showed my chat it, and all of a sudden there was this moment of like, oh fuck, I never asked Cheesecake if she was okay with being in it. Fuck! Oh my god, panic! <laughs> Actual queen behavior. It's Crypto Cheesecake. She's a Mothman VTuber. Look, we all know anybody who is a, 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 what do you call it? Like a cryptid zoologist who is worth their weight in salt knows that Mothman was trying to warn people about the bridge. Wasn't an active attacker, was trying to stop it from happening. We all know this. And anybody who doesn't is wrong.
wrong and also dumb and stinky and wrong. These are all important things that we need to be aware of. You don't gotta ask, I love the edits and the, the narration so much. Oh, thank you very much, Cheesecake. I appreciate that. I had the idea. I accidentally created the idea at like 8.30 p.m. And I finished making it at 4.30 a.m. Roughly. Yeah. I had to hunt down Cobalt really quick and I'm like, Cobalt, I'm so sorry, I have an idea. Are you okay with this? And also, can you record some footage for me really quickly? And Cobalt's just like, this fucking guy. This fucking guy right here. No, he didn't. He did the opposite. He was just like, hell yeah, this sounds fun. Let me go get you some footage. When I have an idea, uh, that idea is locked in. I put a lot of subtext into, yeah, that sounds good. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I'm paraphrasing, Cobalt. I, I, I acknowledge I'm paraphrasing. But if you summarize it really quick, it was basically, Cobalt, are you okay with this? Also, I need footage. And your response was, yeah, it sounds good. Here's some footage. Is this good? Me. Yes. Oh, my God. Thank you. I I'll, I'll should be done in like four hours. Mad Lad confirmed. I just, when I get hyper focus, like it's, it's, uh, I can't really turn it off. So I just do it. There's, I learned a long time ago that if I get into that state, it's better to just do it. For you. Dang right. He was the MVP of that. I just also like that I could add little bits of lore. You know, like the fact that there's a dumb little... How to say it? There's, there's a... There's like a tiny little side story that I secretly am in love with, uh, with 4B. So I had to put like the little heart there. To make sure that that was all on point. I knew I was missing... Oh, never mind. It's all good. So we had to put the little heart. Also, just love the fact that the only two notes that I have for him are British and silver hair. And just... <laughs> like that... What is it? Martyr is literally just cool five... Too cool five me. Like, it's just literally just like, yep, can't be a, can't be a rival because, like, can't compete. And then Tofu is just like, is like, maybe, but also hacker and therefore dangerous. I don't know. I just had a lot of fun with it. It was very fun to do. Also, ah, I only have half an hour. Oh, God, how am I going to do shading in half an hour? All right, well, super fast, hopefully. And it's Luna D. How's it going? How was your stream yesterday? You were watching many video. You were doing that Nito Mosquito watching the videos. Why are you not doing what I want you to do? All right, fine. We'll just do this and we'll figure out which one's the correct one. Yeah, that's probably the best one right there. I like how you stopped and hovered over at Avatar for a moment. Look, I I did the audio prior to the editing. So there were certain things where I'm like, I mean, I need to do this. It's the only thing that makes sense. But that didn't uh, want to do art, but that didn't happen. Didn't happen just, just because or didn't happen because time didn't allow for it or didn't feel it or... 
other reason that I'm not realizing could be a reason. Also, regardless, it looks it sounded like everybody was having a good deal of fun last night, so. I ain't too worried about it. It would be like this. Ooh, okay, so for the hair, we'll have to do a different one. We'll still do overlay, but we'll reduce it to like 50 so that it's not so sharp. Still, I'm glad that you had fun, Lunity. Always good to hear when streamers have a good time on their streams. Usually pretty disappointing when you hear that somebody's just like, I did not have a good time on that stream. Though granted, totally understandable. Variety of factors that could cause stuff like that. A lot of the times is actually outside of the person's control, you know? A bad viewer or just scuff beyond scuff. You know, it's just that everything's just not working that day. And you're just like, nah, you know, that could have been a better stream. And it's just like, yeah, probably. But you still did it. Got to acknowledge the victories where you get them. Because if you're not acknowledging your victories, who else is going to? Nobody, that's who. I mean, probably people who watch your stuff, but you should be acknowledging your own victories. That's the healthier thing to do. And that's coming from me. <laughs> Somebody who is very bad at acknowledging when things are going well. <laughs> and terrified when things are going well. All right, we're still doing okay for time. Let's save just to make sure that we've done that. Ooh, that's also too strong. All right, we'll put that under this category as well. Wanted to see if that was the case, but I realized maybe I shouldn't have done that on a layer. Like so. But there you go. Just to give a little bit of depth to the character. This is probably supposed to be dark. It's coming together great. Well, thank you, Bells. I appreciate that. I'm trying.
Okay, we got that, we got that. Then we need... This is Benjamin, right? Okay, perfect. Boop. Overlay. Cover. Alright, nice. Yeah, I figured it was going to be a little bit too strong. We'll put it at 60. And this should actually be shaded because it's on that side. There we go. This is the specific part that's going to be a little bit more funsies. This first. Actually, it makes sense that the pen would be covered up in a shadow too, wouldn't it? So that actually works just fine. Doing amazing. No! Gonna do a couple things. No problem at all, Cobalt. Please! Please take your, su your Sunday to ch to relax. Unless, of course, you're doing your, uh, your scripting stuff, in which case, keep at it, my dude. I believe in you. chores to do then some scripting really can't get behind this month yeah yeah I feel ya I feel you for sure last night I was chatting a little bit with Haya and she's like you know you have to take it easy right because like you're streaming every day so like don't work on like videos or something and I was like cracks open editing software <laughs> I'm just like, it's too late now. You've given me the challenge. Because I'm a bum. A bum, 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 bum. Well, don't overwork yourself. It was an easy edit. Don't worry. It's already out. You could literally watch it now on my YouTube channel. Shameless plug. Except I forgot to update the link again, because I keep forgetting to do that. <sighs> the latest link is wrong. It's that that link. The link at the top link, the latest video link, is like two months old, I think, at this point. I really need to fix that. Also, I gotta work on ASMR again. Ugh. I know exactly what the next video is gonna be. I just need to write it. Not even write it. I can probably improv it. I just need to do it. Because it's going to be a words of affirmation. Or potentially like a talking somebody calm. Like one of those two kind of attitudes. Because I know that those can be very helpful for people. We'll see how it goes. But that's, that's the current idea at least. I think that I accidentally just tried to erase or something. I did. All right. I hate that my first instinct is to say, Bells, you don't even listen to ASMR. And it's just like, why does that matter? Why do I feel the need to say that? I shouldn't feel the need to say that. And I'm sorry that I even think that way. Still appreciate and support you. That's what I mean. I realize that it's an unreasonable thing to think. It's not even a swing at you. It's a swing at myself. And I register that. It's very much the attitude of just like, well, why would anybody support you anyway, you know? Also, don't mind the bedumps I'm 
I'm sitting in a very strange position right now, so in order to keep my posture straight, I need to lower myself a little bit. I'm currently sitting on one foot with another... How do you even describe this? I'm kind of sitting like this. If here's the chair... And there's the seat. Armrest, armrest. I have my foot here. So I've got my bum sitting right there. There's my buns. But then my other leg is like this. And I'm sitting like this. With like one, I would say with like one arm here and then drawing. Not without contract. Oh, uh, wait. Hold on. Uh, can't see that. Oh, because it's dark. It's dark. I get it. Hold on. Is that easier to see? Okay. Then I'll 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 re I'll redo the art. Hold on. If there's the chair. The seat, you know, seat, armrest, armrest. I have one foot like this with my leg up again. So my buns are sitting on my foot. And then the other leg is like this. And I'm kind of sitting like so. With one arm like this and then my drawing tablet and the other arm like so, and then on my keyboard. <laughs> it's not a good way to sit, but I'm trying to make sure that my back at least is sitting straight while I'm doing it. Does this make sense for the most part? I sit like that too. Bells, no, it's bad for your posture. Don't be like me. Don't be like me for real, for real. Fight me. Fighting. sit like L. Oh, well, yeah, right now I have both feet on the chair like a gremlin. I mean, I have both feet on the chair, just one of them I'm sitting on, and the other one is just kind of there for me to rest an elbow on. It's not a good way to sit. I don't normally sit like this. I normally sit cross-legged. I try so hard to keep my feet on the floor. You know, to quote Linkin Park, to put my cold feet on the floor. I don't know the next line. And then something about you seems so distant. And I can't bring you back. It's the way I feel. What's promised by your face. <laughs> I think that's with you, I think is the name of the song by Linkin Park. I don't think that's from... Uh, I don't think that's from the first album. I think that's from... It's probably from Hybrid. Something Hybrid. I'm sorry. I'm being this guy right now. Ugh. Oh my god, I forgot an important step. Oh, 
Oh, not with that brush, with this brush. I am so confused. Why is this not working? Oh, it's the wrong thing. In what moon? Are you about to tell me that you actually know the song that I that I was uh, brutalizing there? time 20 minutes okay we're actually making really really good time same i used to listen to uh i always forget the name of the album one second meteora i used to listen to meteora a lot Yeah, I didn't listen to hybrid. I didn't listen to hybrid theory as much, but I know a lot of them. All right, what we're gonna do is we're gonna put the letters or the words up already, just so that we have them ready. Like if something I'm working on is gonna take too long, it's just like, all right, no, we're just gonna we're gonna pause it. We're gonna gather our things. We're gonna save what we can, and we're gonna move on out. But we don't have to do that quite yet. Because first of all, Yi has seven eyes, which allows him to see more. I love the amount of emails that I get where it's like, hey, your tax returns of six thousand something dollars is just waiting for you. Please click this button, and it's like, hmm, six thousand is a lot of money. But I also see that the email is from x five three two one 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 seven five three x x x at x y t y t y t x one dot y t t t t t t t t t dot and it's like, doesn't seem that reliable of a source. Maybe I don't click that. I'm so confused. What did I just do? Oh, I see. Sorry, I needed the color and I didn't remember what it was. <laughs> you should click it. Yeah, if I want to lose everything. Moon, give me my money back. Oh, also I get like, my favorite is that I get IRS emails. It's just like, your tax returns have come back inconclusive. An audit will be done upon you. And I'm like, I'm not American. <laughs> I caught on to your lies before I even had to look at the email, ne the email listed. I'm in Canada, you idiot. They just aren't trying like they used to, you know? Hey, Stitches, how's it going? <laughs> Idiot. All right, so we got music. Mother hacker, I didn't save the color. I did, but I did it wrong. How are you? I'm doing all right, Stitches. Thank you for asking. 
We're just trying to finish this up before Kaju's stream starts. And I have a little bit more than 15 minutes, so we do need to actually kind of keep our focus ever so slightly. So we have music, vibes. Ooh, I'm cutting it close on the corners here, actually. I might have to pull that in just ever so slightly. I don't know if I can. Ooh. Ooh. We'll just take, no. Mm, ah. Mm. Frick, we're gonna have to. Oh, but that means we gotta pull everything in. Like that, and then we take this, and we go like that. And we take this. Oh dear, what's causing that now? No. Oh my god, I know why. Because it's being a doofus. That's what's happening. All right, we fix. We fix it. There we go. Easy fix. Which I hope that your weekend is going well, Stitches. I hope that you're gonna get Monday off, much like some other peeps are getting a chance to today, or this weekend, rather. Chill. No, don't rotate. Just move. There we go. Well, the coloring's looking really nice. Oh, thank you, Blue. I appreciate that. We're almost done. We'll put sleepy as the last term. <gasps> I just realized I've made a grievous mistake. We will fix this after I fix this heinous, heinous, I say again, heinous act. is right in the world. Now we can go back to doing what we were doing. It's too heinous. Please censor stream next time. I'm sorry, Moon. It took too long. I wasn't fast enough. We always do three, if I recall correctly. I know. Don't worry. I feel terrible too. We all had to experience this together. I feel like four is actually the correct number though. Let's just do four. Yes, at this point I am just talking myself through my own process. What about it? Some of the best streamers of all time do that. I can't think of any off the cuff, but it's what they do. It's a thing. Look it up. Educate yourself. <laughs> Boop. And then grab them all and merge. And then soften them so that the backgrounds fade through them. 
Boom. There you go. End result. There we go. With 13 minutes left to spare, we did it. I wasn't sure if we were going to be able to do it in the two hours. In fact, I was a little bit like, Ooh, is it going to happen? And wow, indeed, Moon. Wow, indeed. Hold on, let me check something. Let me check something. Ooh, thank you, Cobalt, for reminding me that I have to make a schedule. Very comfy, very cozy. Why did you post Stumpy of all things? Stumpy looks like it's like... Like, oh. Oh, dear. <laughs> the red isn't their eyes. The red is their cheeks. They're, in, they're staring endlessly. I love that emote. It's very cute. Just saying. It might not be what you think it means. You know, very, uh, what the heck is it? The Princess Bride? You keep using that word. I don't think it means what you think it means. You keep using that emote move. I don't think it means what you think it means. So I try to sneak it in. Fair. I accept your response and acknowledge your acknowledge your thought processes. And approve of this message. Hi, my name's Will Sleep Not Sleeps Not. Are you tired of the current political individual that runs your town and or city? <laughs> I will never be a politician. I don't have the chops for it. No, oh, no. I'd never give in to it. I hate politicians too much. The IRS got them. Yep, I'm in the States now, Moon. I'm running for president. No one knows who I am, and I'm too young to be president. But I'm sure I'll be just as good as, uh... The fuck is his name again? What is his name again? One moment. I'm sure I'll have as much of a chance as... Hold on. Hold on. Why would you not go to that if he reacts accordingly? Hold on. Vivek, that's it. I'll have mu as much of a chance as Vivek. I do not know how to say his last name and there's no way in hell that No way in hell I'm even going to try. Nivek is running for it. Not Nivek, Vivek. V I V E K. He's a Republican uh, provincial candidate or presidential candidate. Oh, I heard Nivek. No, Vivek. Do you guys not keep up with politics? You guys are actually American. <laughs> And was just willing to accept that. <laughs> Nivek's just like, as, uh... That's how you know I'm American. It's okay, well, I got you. Are you at least aware of who I'm talking about, Moon? Are you aware of the man who I'm pretty sure actually said that climate change is a lie? Live on stage?
Nope. Stitches. I mean, honestly, don't go down this road. Don't go into, don't, don't follow politics. It'll just make you sad. But I watched uh, a commentary on the, uh, what is it? The, the Republican, would it have been the primaries? Is that the correct term for you guys? When they all got to sit down and talk to like Fox News hosts on a stage. And it was like, oh my God. <laughs> There's like one person up there that has like some semblance of competence and she's never going to see it because she's... Well, one, because she's a woman, unfortunately, and two, because some of her shit is ass backwards. Like, Lady literally says that America is not racist, and in the same breath talks about how her immigrant parents brought them over to America, and how they experienced discrimination and hardship, and it's just like, what the fuck kind of logic loops are you jumping through right now, Lady? I'm sorry I brought politics into this. I will stop talking about it now, but it really made my brain go throw for a loop. I have seven minutes. I'm, I'm done. It's done. Now we can talk about things that I'm interested in. <laughs> like American Republicans. <laughs> I read about politics uh, because the anger fuels the fire that gets me up in the morning. Moon's literally just like, maybe I won't get up today. Reads that like, how to say it, like just reads about the new thing that Ron DeSantis is doing to Florida. And just like crumbles her, ta her tablet, throws it aside like a crumbled piece of paper amongst the paper or like the wastebasket that has like 15 other ones. And, like, as she gets up, she narrowly misses the pile of tablets beside her desk that she's going to read the next day and promptly crumble up. And it's just like, fucking DeSantis, I'll show him our rights. Get up and start the day! I get you, Stitches. No, we're not gonna- no, I'm not- I'm not gonna keep talking about that. No. Politics are- po politics are no good. We re we reduced that a little bit, I'm sorry. The blue, I actually bully. I would actually bully a lot of politicians. <laughs> I will say, though, my final statement, and I'm sorry again that I'm talking about this. Mitch McConnell needs to retire. If you guys have seen that footage of him recently, that's elder abuse that he's still in office. It's actually elder abuse that he's still in office. He is... He needs to be at home with his wife enjoying the last of his days. <laughs> I'm just saying that that'll be my final statement on politics. He doesn't deserve to enjoy anything but go home. Look, at this point, Blue... There's... <sighs> Ronald Reagan did a lot of things wrong. And yeah, sorry, I slammed the cups together again. Ronald, like... I think it's Reagan that I'm thinking of, right? Yeah, it's Reagan. Reagan did so much shit wrong. But he was a senile old man by the time his his term came to a close. There's a question to be had about when does, like, the punishment fit the crime when it comes to the fact that somebody... When it's somebody that some days gets up and doesn't remember their own name. You know what I mean? <laughs> I know this is a heavier topic, and I apologize, but, like, that stuff always crosses my my mind, you know? Like, ah, oh, literally destroyed the American economy, like, you know, like, is, like, a big proponent of why, like, the crack epidemic happened, like, destroyed schooling, etc. 
but like also you're just like, yeah, put them away for life and then look at, and then you look at them and like they're not able to get out of bed in the morning and they don't remember their their name or their what or the fact that their wife is their wife. It's just like I don't think putting them away will do anything. They're they're not there anymore. You know what I mean? Like the person that did that doesn't exist in that brain anymore. <laughs> And that's a very, how to say it, I don't like, how to say it, uh, there's a lot of argument that can be had there. And I acknowledge that because of the idea of, because, uh, you know, but even just from a philosophical perspective, you know, like the duality idea, the spirit versus, spirit versus the body, you can still punish the body because of, because it was the body that did the damage, etc., etc. But it, it, even from just a, from just an ethical perspective, it's just like, why try to use the, the torture systems in place to try to attack someone who won't even know why they're there? You know what I mean? It's I know it's a really hard question, and it's it's a bold statement that I know can be countered, but I don't know. It's it's something that crosses my mind a lot, like. When is the mind so far gone that you don't even know or it doesn't know what it's done? And how do you punish that? Because the punishment is intended to strike at the person who, you know, who did the crime. But much like the sh Ship of Theseus argument, when you pull away enough planks, the boat that is the the metaphorical the metaphorical boat that is the person doesn't even resemble a boat anymore. You know what I mean? What they're doing now that I can agree with Blue. That I can absolutely agree with. Get them out of power because. It's literally the equivalency of handing, you know, a revolver to a five-year-old. That I, that I would never disagree with. Like, especially the person that we're talking about. Like, they, if a simple question like, will you be re, re uh, will you be running again for office and they just stop being there? Like, if anybody's seen that footage, it's terrifying. It is genuinely, like, heartbreaking to watch. You are watching somebody just stop being them. Like, they just stop. You watch the, like, the, the spark of life leave their eyes for a few seconds. As they just, like, fade. Like, it, it feels like what, when you hear people talking about astral projection, that, it feels like that's what's happening in that moment. Like, their soul just, like, leaves for a moment their spirit just unexpectedly like gets ejected and the shell just stares just gone it's freaky it's freaky from the perspective of putting yourself in that shoes and also from the perspective of the fact that again like blue was saying like that person is in power hey Novak, how's it going <laughs> You've come in at an interesting time. We're kind of on a heavier topic. You can also feel bad because he has permanent sad face. But that's not our problem. No, no, I agree with you there, Blue. Mitch McConnell, I have opinions on how he looks. And I won't say them out loud. But Also, Nivek, uh, really cool that you're trying to run for president. We really hope that you do well. Thank you, Bells, for backing me up on that. <laughs> You know, I know your entry is a little bit late, but you know what? I'm I'm down. I hope that it works. Wait, how did you know? <laughs> Mostly because I said a, uh, a Republican candidate and everybody heard Nivek instead of Vivek or Vivek. And uh, we kind of just ran with it for a while. <laughs> Everyone's like, wow, Nivek is running? That's awesome. I hope he does great. And I'm like, oh, I see. There was a there was an error in in communication here. Oh, and also, Kaju has started. 
so we all know what's happening here. Pardon the unexpected. Thanks for saving America. I promise lower taxes and anime girl and an anime girl in every house. You'll win a few people over with that, I'm sure. All right. Apologies for the suddenness, but I totally forgot about the time because that topic got me a little bit passionate. And I apologize. All right. Everyone, we are going to go raid Kaju because art week. I need to save my art really quickly and toss it over there. I'll do it as soon as we've raided. So, everyone, I'm going to go raid Kaju. Uh, I real we're just gonna do the simplest of simple boom art week raid boom there we go <laughs> there's our there's our raid message should you want to use it all right uh I don't think I need to do my outro, but I have to do it anyway. So thank you guys so much for sticking around with you, chatting with you, we're lurking with you, just popped in and out. Know that you're super appreciative. Hope you guys are having a great day, afternoon, evening, going on, whatever time. I'm going to be take care of yourself, have drink of plenty of water, and when you finally receive whatever time I have to be for you, I hope you have a very restful sleep. <gasps> I'll see you guys over at Kaju's. Enjoy. And I hope that you guys. Ah, Kuma, we're leaving right now. Join us. I will see you guys there. And I will see you guys on Monday. I don't know what we're doing yet. I'll get the schedule done ASAP. Bye!